these two met. In the quarterfinals of the European Championships, it's Shestak who won. Shestak, beat all comers, won gold at the European Championships. Beat Callum French by split decision in the semis there. Beat French by split decision in the last round here. It was a very close fight, that one. Could quite easily have gone the other way. This is Shestak's first World Championships. France, quarter finalists for the Euros, as mentioned, but losing to Shestak. Silver medal at Rio last summer, losing to Robson Concisau, the Brazilian in the final. I saw him boxing WSB this year in, in Paris, had a really good win against Luther Cormac, who was a finalist a couple of years ago. The Wanderson of Brazil, a well, unanimous decision in the last round, but it was a, it was a close fight, the scorecards didn't reflect it, but it was that was one in this ring that I saw and I thought there was really very, very little in it. I think what got it for Shestak against French was the fact that they were to land big eye-catching shots. They wouldn't always get through clean, they'd be taken on the gloves, sometimes on the shoulder, but they look heavy, they look good. But to the judges, clearly, because he won the fight. Alejandro Barrientos of Cuba, the third man in the ring. Shestak of Ukraine in the red, Umihar of France in the blue, Orthodox against Southpaw. I know the French team felt that fight against Wilderson was, was really, really tight as well, and were relieved to get the decision. But that's gone now, Umihar to get a win here and add a, another medal, add a, at least a bronze to that silver he won in Rio. Target quicker than those big wide winging hooks of Shestak. 
final 10 seconds. Good opening round for the Frenchman. Bit of a cut in the hairline there, presumably from a head clash. Shestak. opportunity at the start of the round to tell them both to keep their heads up. Nice one too there from Uber Hart. Using that reach well. Neither of those two punches travel all that far and he's just moving too. Good left hand there though from Chestak. Just going to say that Uber Hart is turning his man nicely, keeping him changing his angle of attack. Shestak looks like he's going to go a bit more gung-ho in this second round, possibly he's a little frustrated. seconds and then all of a sudden Uber Hart just clicked him with the left hand. <laughs> right hand there though from Chestak. Uber Hart doesn't want to get caught in that kind of range, in that blender if you like, where he can just let his hands go, Chestak, and just try and do some damage. for me. Thank you. 
So into the third and final round. Five scoring judges are ringside using the ten point must. They're the ones who count here, but my very unofficial scorecard. I've got Umar two rounds ahead. After these opening two rounds, Chestak of Ukraine in the red, Umar of France in the blue. Chestak the European champion, Umar the Olympic silver medalist. It's left on the inside there from Umar. That one two just fell short with the right hand. Shestak will come forward in this third and final round without a doubt. Left to the body there from Shestak. Dips his head and just comes forward, loses his balance as he does so. Down Umar with a left on the inside there. That hook on the move, Umar. Side there from Umar. Shestak again was looking to bomb with that left hand. I don't think it really travelled as far as the target though. Umar again just using the outside of the ring, just jabbing on the move from the way to his left hand side. Shestak just adjusts his feet, gets back in front of his man, little dabbing down right hand from Umar. Shestak's finding it difficult to pin him down. Umar's boxed well here. He's been boxing off the back foot. That's what he does. That's what lots of fighters do. Right hand there from Shestak. Shestak is the one who's on the front foot, who's making the fight, if you like, but he's not managed to register much of any real meaning. It's the final minute. Side. That's a really quality shot. How that in your locker still right at the end of the third round. It's impressive. It's the final few seconds. Left hand just catches Shestak there on the right hand as well. And that for me is a really good performance from Sofian Umahar. I think he's won every round there. Shestak came forward and came forward and came forward, but it was a Frenchman who had the answers, he picked him off, never really hit him that hard, but he picked him off. And it's a good shot, so Shestak was just found to be a bit too one-dimensional there. Didn't really manage to land those big wide hooks at all. He looked a bit gassed at the end, and that's because he was hit often enough to have that steam just taken out of him. So Umihar gets it. A unanimous decision. Three rounds to nil. With four judges, two rounds to one. With the USA. And that's a good performance from Umihar. And an improvement on. His performance against Wonderson in the previous round, although Wonderson boxed really well, 